What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Shane and this is The Shane Show. Alright guys, so in today's video it's all about the R33. I don't know if you guys just saw the last video where I thought I fried my ECU. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. It'll definitely set the stage for everything I'm talking about today. So, crazy thing. Sent out the ECU to AEM. They said, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. Sent it back. And I was just like, all right, so what, what's wrong with the car? I called my friend over and he's very renowned in cars. Um, and so he brought his multimeter over. We went through every single wire on the car for five hours just to try and understand what's going on. Tested every single wire. We were about to give up and then we found this. So what we found was this wire right here was connected to the relay and it was going up to here, to this one right here that I currently have a wire nut on. When uh, the car was off, it was at 12 volts. The second it turned ignition on is experiencing a two volt drop. So what was happening was the ECU was so smart that it was just recognizing, hey, I don't have 12 volts coming to me. I'm just gonna shut down or fail safe or whatever kind of mode it was going into. Whereas the FC commander, when I put that one back in, would just plug right in and it would just function as normal. So absolutely crazy, but uh, we figured it out. Currently have inline fuse right here. Just put a 10 amp in there just uh, for precautions. Ran this wire all the way into the battery. All of that and the car fired up and connected to the ECU. So I wanna give you guys, I know I didn't film it at the time. Honestly, it was really frustrating just trying to go back and forth in five hours and blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna start the car right here. It's alive, it runs, it sounds amazing. We also timed uh, the car and all of that. Something else that turned out really good was we got all the wiring in there and the looms. We've got the cast cam angle sensor all wired up. Came out really nice zip tied off and so this thing in here in the engine bay is complete if you have not seen the car before this is a garrett 3582r fully built motor uh i'm expecting around 650 to 700 wheel after we get this thing tuned and so i'm just super pumped that this thing is running and it um sounds great everything's working properly also I don't know if you guys remember, I was trying to get the dash display in there. Let's go check out this dash. So I am super pumped on how this came out. Got the AEM digital dash display up there. Also have those two USBs, so that way you don't have to plug into the ECU or the dash. Just put those in there, and uh, you could just plug right in and connect to everything. Got this custom radio that I found from um, Amazon that I put into the ashtray, and everything in here just came out really really good nice and clean everything's all wired in so i just have two wires that i got to finish up connecting to the ecu for the dash what today involves is just putting this wire in through um, under the carpet and all that and connect it to the battery we're going to do that and then i'm going to have to go ahead and buy some of those terminals that plug into the ecu because i ran out so those are really the only two things. Other than that, this thing is done. Enough of me talking, right? You guys are like, just start the car already. I wanna see it start. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you have not seen anything about the Skyline, I wanna show you guys this engine bay. There we go. So it's a fully built motor. Got the Garrett 3582R on there. It's got pistons, rods, bearings, everything. The only thing that's uh, OEM is the crank and the cams. Cams just because um, it's got the VVT, so obviously you can adjust that, and yeah, so I'm just happy. It's starting, it's running, got the new ECU, and check out this sweet dash display. Up. Super cool. Radio. No idea what we're about to listen to. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Down below what you think, how does this sound? I think it's 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so stoked that it's finally running. I'm super pumped. Um, let me know down below what you guys think of the way it sounds. And I uh, can't wait. Um, I'll give you guys more revs later. Uh, I just want to get this wire routed back there. And then uh, we'll start it up again later in this video. But um, it's alive. So what I'm going to do is get this wire routed probably under this, uh, take off this door sill cover and then I'll probably end up running it under the carpet and then into the back seat, take the back seats out, run it through there and connect it into the battery. So uh, go ahead and start taking that apart right now. All right, so got the wire right here, took all of this off, have the back seat out, ran it all under here into the back. You can kind of see it up back there. And then there's a nice little spot up here that I was able to uh, run it to, so now we'll just have to plug that in. But um, yeah, almost there making this thing look clean. Everything is all wired up, it's looking good. Show you right there. So right into the battery and just ran it behind. And then this plate right here goes up against there. And then inside the car, got the seat and everything back on and it is looking clean. So coming down the home stretch on getting this thing ready to go to dyno comp to get tuned. So I've got my list right here. Uh, crossed a lot of stuff off. The engine bay wire loom, the cast zip tie, the coolant map wire loom. Um, just uh, tighten the battery terminals and all that stuff. So the only things that I have left are those two wires to go from the dash display into the ECU, the can low and can high. Um, I ran out of those little terminal connectors to, uh, for the ECU, so I'm going to go see if I can find some O'Reilly's. And then after that, go ahead and play with the dash because there's a lot of cool features that you can do with that, adjustments, figure out the gauges and all that. And then just an oil change, and then the car is ready to go. Uh, so head off to O'Reilly's, I'm going to see if I can find that. Alright guys, so got the 33 all buttoned up, have the wire ran all the way into the battery. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you guys the dash, everything's functional, looks super clean. We'll turn it on, check all that out, and then fire it up. Then we'll do some nice revs for you guys. Check it out. So you want to turn it on, Nick? Let's keep it going. Thumbs up. Also, check out the other videos just like that. Shane shows out. Peace.